Today I'm going to be looking at some interesting maps of Germany. First one, pretty simple, the states, the Bundesland of Germany. Something I love about Germany is the states, how they all have their unique cultures, cuisines, ways of life, personalities. Tell me where you're from, tell me what you think about other states, what's your favourite other state and why? Is there any states you don't like for any reason? The per capita GDP in euros for each state. So this in itself very interesting. Hamburg and Bremen here we can see are amongst the highest per capita GDP. Bavaria and Hesse doing quite well. But can see that split in Germany from what was East Germany, West Germany. See that the per capita GDP over here is very low. What's the reason for that? Is it a lack of commerce? Lack of enterprise over here. What would it be? What's the reason for that? Okay, we've got here Europe according to Germany from 2010. Let's see what Britain is. The Enigma Code Hackers. That's actually a much more positive thing than I would have imagined Germany to think about uh, Britain. There's a lot of things they could have thought, but I'm quite happy with that. Ireland, Ireland got whiskey. I guess this is taking Scotland as part of the UK, but yeah, fair enough. I'll give whiskey to the Irish in this, this instance only. Uh, let's see where else, Italy, pizzas and museums, Spain, cheap hotels, Balearic Germany, does Germany think of the Balearics as being part of Germany, is there a lot of tourists go there? The size of farms, wow, so actually over here in East Germany, I mean again we can see the split, this one has actually got a red line to signify the split, but we can see there's a lot more farming goes on over here, so I never actually knew that, a lot bigger farms down here in Bavaria and that sort of thing, very little farming goes on, I guess, or just smaller farms. Uh, but that's an interesting divide again. A religion in Germany, Protestant, 34.5%, Catholic, 32.2%, not religious, 29%. Interesting how they're almost equally split, I mean, especially between Protestant and Catholic, but the fact that 30% of Germany is not religious, I actually thought it would be higher than that. Maybe this is an older uh, an older poll. Tell me if you think the, the real figure is higher than that. Again, you can see the split in Germany, not religious. The majority of people over in East Germany, or what was East Germany, are not religious. Whereas West Germany are more religious, and also this, the sort of southern area of Germany is more Catholic, whereas the northern area is more Protestant. That is kind of very interesting how it's so equally split. I mean, that is almost very German in itself, how everything's perfectly, like, split by percentage. It's actually quite satisfying in a way. Here we've got ways to divide Deutschland. Here we've got states again. Here, Alabama. So what... <laughs> Why is there a, an Alabama in Germany? Is there some sort of comparison between this place here and Alabama? Tell me if that's fair. Mallorca, again, we've got that Spanish island. So is Mallorca basically seen as a German colony? That's quite funny in itself. Okay, what Munich sees? Munich and the rest is peasants. If you're from Munich, is that a fair reflection on your thoughts about the rest of Germany. What America sees is just Bavaria. I've actually heard that before, that people outside Germany, what they think of as stereotypically German is actually very Bavarian culture. Okay, 1945 to 1990, DDR? I thought that was GDR. I guess it's maybe like Deutschland Democratic Republic rather than German, okay. So DDR, bananas and Coca-Cola in the West. What does that mean? You have to give me more context about that. Is it maybe things that you could get in the West that you couldn't get in East Germany? Is there other items you couldn't get in East Germany, if that's what it means? Give me more context on that one. I definitely don't know what that means. Most voted for parties in 2019. Liberal Conservatives, well, quite taken over there. Socialist Democrats, a small, small uh, section over there. Got Nazis in disguise. Is that talking about the AFD? Maybe that's going to be growing over the years. Green, politi green politics legalise it, okay. What they call this, okay. I'm not going to look at the thing to see what it is. I'm just going to say that's like a donut, I guess. Got Berliner, okay, yeah, Berliner. A crepo, fan cushion, crapfen. So what do you call that? Actually, I, over here in Malaysia, there's a place that sells Berliners. I get a raspberry Berliner. 
And it's actually better than normal donuts. Okay, here we've got an anglicised Germany. What is this? Hambury, Berlin. <laughs> it's okay. Nethersex. Where is Nethersex? Schleswig. Yeah, these all sound like little suburbs on the outskirts of London, very upper class villages in England, Wolfbury, Brunswick, Frankfurt. Tell me what you think about this. Is this a, an affront to German language? It's funny when you anglicise German words, how they become more posh than anything else. These definitely sound like the sort of places you go in the summer for some strawberries and cream, some pims. German population density by postal code. So over here is the most dense area. I guess this is over like the Rhineland. Definitely hugely populated there. It's interesting that it's so far away from the east. And it's also very interesting to see the lack of population in the east as well. After reunification, did a lot of people just move over as far to the west as they could if they weren't going to Berlin? What was the cause of the lack of population here? But when you see it actually like this, you can really see how decentralised Germany is. A map indicating the headquarters of private companies in Germany. So I'm not sure if this is just the headquarters or where these companies were founded and created. Again, we see that split quite uh, quite distinctly, again, it's a lot of big companies down there, but I mean, all over the western country, again, it really just sweeps around almost to the border over here every time. Uh, I guess that goes with population, but interesting to see, has there never been anything done to try and encourage people to set up headquarters in the east, try and take people over, over there to spread the population or anything like that? The German Intercity Rail Network. And again, we can see it sweeping around right through the Rhineland, through Cologne over here. Places like this in the central, or yeah, more centre. I'm sure a lot of people do live over here, maybe not as much as over here, but is it less connected to the rest of Germany if you're, you're living in this sort of central region? An otter map of Germany. Otterndorf, Otterstein, Ottersberg. Okay, yeah, I've definitely heard of some of these places before, but I didn't really realise that the otter at the beginning of the cities or towns was so prevalent and this one is we see the lack of split this is just i mean more southern than anything else but really all over germany where does that originate from what is it why is there so many places with otter at the beginning of their names germany's most popular beer brands per state okay this looks less states and more okay beck's for Hamburg and Bremen, is that fair? I can't imagine, I feel like people have told me before that they have favourite beers but they're more localised beers, I don't think that can be true. Krombacher, Rothaus. Is this fair? I think that even down to the towns and the cities in Germany, there's favourite beers, there's breweries, local breweries all over Germany. So I don't know if this is a bit more too sweeping in its... Uh, saying that these are the most popular, maybe the highest sales overall, but are these people's favourites? Tell me what your favourite German beer is. The Holy Roman Empire. Wow. This map actually gives me borderline anxiety to see how split, see how fragmented the country was. It's, it's very interesting. This in itself, learning about the history of this at this time, 1789, would be utterly fascinating for me. Tell me what you can about this. How is this managed? It looks like someone's got a paintbrush, put a, a few different colours over it and just sprinkled it at the map and it's left. I mean, it's very beautiful to look at. To think how this would be managed would just be quite, uh, quite difficult to say the least. Which countries are the public and key NATO countries willing to defend if they were attacked by Russia? Okay. Countries, Germany, Germans would would not defend. Okay, let me check this out. So, got more people willing to defend. So, Germany would defend the UK. That's what I wanted to know. I'm happy to hear that. They wouldn't defend the USA. Okay, fair enough. Ukraine, they wouldn't. Okay, when is this actually from? This is YouGov 2019. So, this is actually before the sort of second invasion of Ukraine by Russia. 
Germans are saying at this time they wouldn't defend Ukraine. That's interesting. Tell me what, what was the, the thoughts or the thought process at this time in Germany. So those were some interesting maps of Germany. Tell me if you found them interesting yourself. Uh, thanks for watching.